Yo, deep fake video Rob with another one. This one's about my experience with Voico, Photoshop voice cloning. I did a video about this before, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail. Sorry about the sun. So basically, my father, uh, he passed away, you know, God bless his soul. Uh, he was a, a diabetic and um, you know, his voice and stuff had got really soft in tone. So um, he was admitted into the hospital. And one day I was worried about him, you know, with the COVID thing, they, they weren't allowing us to uh, go in and visit him because of the COVID situation and this and that. So they had him call me and I'm talking to him on the phone and this guy's voice was like Barry White, clear, deep, everything. And I'm like, it, 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 it was his voice. It was his voice, but it wasn't him. And this is what uh, sparked me to start doing research on the voice cloning thing because when he came back from the hospital, he didn't have that same uh, uh, Barry White bass in his voice. He was back meek again. So how is it that before he went into the hospital, his voice was timid and weak while he was in the hospital, sharp, deep and clear. He came back from the hospital and it was timid and weak again. And then it dawned on me. Um, I did some research on a thing called Liar Bird. Now Liar Bird is voice cloning too, but it's not that good. It sounds like a robot, but Voico, Voico is your your voice but it's it's like they take they can take over 10 years of voice samples a lot of people don't know this from your phone a lot of people don't know this they have 10 years of your voice samples in these phones that's how far they can go back and what they basically do with this technology is they it bits and pieces the words and they can do in real time they can make a whole complete statement in your voice but I'm, I'm actually saying, but it's gonna be your voice that I hear. That's Voico. That's, that's just how sneaky these gang stalkers have gotten. You can have, uh, you can have a complete uh, um, conversation with a person, you think this is your mother or your father, but this is a gang stalker. This is how sick and satanic these people have gotten, bro. Now imagine that with the deep fix. Do you know what type of and if you don't know what a deep fake is, it's a, a basically an avatar. They take your face and they basically avatar it. So for those that don't know what deep fakes are. So not only do they take your voice, they take your, your face. This is how they can get away with a lot of identity theft and all type of stuff now. Because everything's mostly, you know, on Zoom and this and that. And with your personal information over the phone, it's nothing, bro. These gang stalkers... Oh, they're satanic, bro. They're witches all the way around. I mean, for someone to sit there and think of how to do something that devilish, but you call them heroes, or you're, you're community policing. So, so if you're community policing, how come crime hasn't went down? It looks like it's going up. How do you have criminals watching people? That's what I don't get. You hire criminals to watch citizens. Does that make any sense? You got a government agency using fuse centers, fusion centers, hiring criminals to watch, spy, and sabotage on regular taxpaying working people. I don't get it. Please, somebody, please tell me how that makes any sense. Deep fake video rob with another one. Boyco Photoshop voice cloning. My experience with it. You.